that's fine. I get that, but you're wrong and I hate you. Alrighty. Go hit that. Uh, what's up, guys? How you doing? Good to see ya. Uh, King, think of that host. How you doing, my friend? <clears throat> oh man, so you notice it's dark. Because we're playing Resident Evil 7 in VR tonight. As we discussed, um, well, <laughs> we discussed last month because it was the sub goal, but uh, I, I mentioned it in Discord to you guys that we were going to start, and I had to get everything set up, otherwise, I would have started it as soon as we finished Ghost of Tsushima, but had to get the camera set up and kind of. I, I haven't used VR but a couple times in this space, and I usually use it standing up, so I had the camera like over here facing out towards the room so I can move around um, so this is my first time using it seated so I had to get that all all set up and ready to go uh, so yeah we're uh, we're gonna get started on that obviously I won't be doing any like stream raider stuff or anything like that just because I won't be able to monitor it and uh, Um, yeah, so I don't have my earbuds in because you know the the PlayStation VR headset has the built-in like off, earbud girlfriend. things um, for maximum immersion. Um, so we're gonna have those in while I play. Um, therefore, I won't be able to hear any alerts or anything for the stream. I'll just have to like do like I did last time and periodically check and see what's going on with you guys because once I put the headset on we are we are immersed so let's see okay let's go to this all right so that works here's our headset here As you can see it's moving around in the game Yo. Get it on and adjusted. Get it there. As best I can. Uh, let me try to get it into a good spot and then I'll. Seems kind of good right there. to reorient it so it was facing forward uh hey pew pew how you doing cap how you doing good to see you guys yakuza vr that would be wild i'm sure but this is much scarier <laughs> this is definitely much scarier doing good so as i said um, in case anybody missed it obviously i'll have to be checking chat periodically um since i can't see anything with the headset on i gotta pull it out and you know pull it down so that i can actually see chat um so once i get started i'll just be checking chat like every so often the emotes are amazing i decided to go ahead and upload the halloween emotes because they're so amazing like only using them for the month of october seemed cruel so we're going to have them through the rest of September and October so that we can enjoy them to the fullest.
I have to turn the volume down just a little bit. All right, so I'm gonna put this back down and we're gonna get started here. All right, so I'm gonna start a new game, obviously, because I know a lot of you guys weren't here, but I did beat this uh, in VR before. Um, I think I beat it on normal when I played through before. I think I'm just gonna play on easy because I'm just doing a, a quick playthrough. Do you guys see? Oh, you do when I move around like that. I don't know if you guys could see my movement when it was on this flat screens. It's so real, it's like I'm watching an actual laptop. She's back. Maybe it's a friend. She wants me to come and get her. Where is she? Dolby. Dolby, Louisiana. Dude, it's been three years. I know, I know. What if it is her? I have to find out what happened. I have to find out, guys. Oh, the music's still playing? My bad. This totally throws me off my, uh... My game. I appreciate you letting me know. I know that OST for this is so cheery, yeah, right? Maybe that's what I need. Alright, so. So, yeah, you guys can see everything that I see, just obviously not as immersive. And yes, the aspect ratio is a little off because it's meant for the. the VR, not really for watching third party i guess um but it works so here we go let's see oh god i was my controller okay i will have to take periodic breaks um because the vr does kind of mess with your head until you get used to it Find me. Whoa, it's like it's coming right at me. Oh no, it's locked. Bless you. Sorry, I just like smacked my microphone. Yeah. There you go. I know I'm out of the play area. Leave me alone! Oh, 
Last time I played this, I didn't have hair. It's a little more difficult when you have hair. The the back band wants to slide. It doesn't have my scalp to grip, I guess. Yeah, I have never played this regularly. I've only ever played in VR. And I've only played once, so... Sewer Gators, join us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have a very limited uh, play area here, so accept her gift. When I lean down too much, I go out of the PlayStation camera's view. There he is! But he's gone that quick. Excuse you. Mm -hmm. This is fine. It actually is fine because I mean, we're outside. Doesn't get bad till we go inside. And of course, we're like right there, so. It's still burning! Driver's license. What could it mean? Do what? Weird. That is weird. <clears throat> hey, what's up, Spencer? How you doing, man? Drink bomb. Well, I'm able to see. We're gonna survive this. We're gonna make it. It's only about to get worse. Because we gotta go inside. Okay. I can't see. Oh god, I can't see. That wasn't very cool, man. That wasn't very cash money of you. Hello.
Yep. Locked. So I said, I've only played this once before, so it's... It's not gonna be like a fast playthrough by any means. I don't really remember where anything is at, or... Anything like that. I'm sure some of it will probably come back to me, but... That was obviously my, yeah, see, 1-30-2017. My last save. <clears throat> Thank you for the five bits, Ro. I don't have any stream sound, so I can't hear anything because I've got the earbuds in for the VR. <laughs> wow, I already hate this. How do you think I feel? No speed run? I know, right? It's terrible. How many subs for a Corvina playthrough of this? I don't think there's enough subs in the world to, to get her to do that. She can answer for herself, though. Ha, <laughs> ah, all right, I'm going back in. We're going back in. Oh god. Now, this is not even to the scary part yet. Like remotely. Just shut that. Okay. That fun. Looks like the owners. I did remember that. I watched the footage, though, so we don't miss any of the story. We, we haven't really seen too much of the story yet, except for he's looking for his missing girlfriend. You're about to get a lot of story here, though. How did you find this guy? Give me a break, Chief. Hey, I only work with professionals. Speaking of which, make sure the sound is right this time. I don't want a repeat of Amarillo. That was two fucking years ago. I don't do ADR. This new guy? I'm not feeling it. 
Just don't be surprised if we have to make a change. New plan. We do a walkthrough of the inside first, then we shoot the intro. Just like we always do. Just try to say the show's name this time, okay? No problem. Tonight on Sewer Gators, another worthless fucking shit. Happy? Static. Uh. Are we rolling? All right, let's go. <clears throat> Get out of the way. It's locked. Oh, breaking and entering. After you. So, why are we in hell this time? Do you ever prep? What's the prep? Shitty house, spooky sounds. Ooh, is it haunted? Fuck you, dude. How was it anchored, you know? Weekend sub, Pete. Not anchored. What's that? Nothing. <laughs> What's the story, Andre? Abandoned farmhouse, missing family, foul play suspected. The usual. How long do you say this place has been abandoned? Three years. <coughs> Clancy, get a shot of this. This will make a great cutaway. So, uh, Hillbilly Joe and his family go missing. Not Hillbillies, the Bakers. Jack and Marguerite Baker. And they were quiet, not backward. A lot of bad rumors about their son, Lucas. Bad seed, apparently. Ah, shit! I know I should have worn my good shoes. Oh, shit. Glad I had my shot. Although, this would make a great backdrop. Where do you go? Andre, what do you think? Andre? Andre! Andre! Clancy, you see where Andre went? Clancy. Where is he? Unfucking believable. This is the last time I work with that guy. <laughs> I mean, producers, they come and go. But a, a good cameraman like you, Clancy, you stick with me. It's only me out in the hallway, man. Andre, where are you, man? Well, let me shut the door. This is where you're supposed to find out about the handle. You heard him. There he is. Need a nice hero shot of me coming down the ladder. So, uh, So yeah, this is pretty much the worst. What do you see? What is it? It's the Blair Witch Project. Oh god.
So yeah. That's that's our little introduction into uh Jesus. To where we're at. <laughs> Uh, uh. <laughs> that's my car oh no oh man yeah th this is that's our introduction into where we're at basically but yeah the story is you get a message from the main character's girlfriend after she's been missing for years saying that she's here and we're trying to track her down and that's what led us to the house and then basically caught up from there now we get to go down this ladder which as you can see is going to be a fun fun experience for us Of course. Oh god, we're just a floating head with arms. Damn it. Ah, yes. Going into a flooded basement. In a creepy abandoned house. Everybody's favorite thing. Oh god. I remember that was gonna happen. That's that's one of the guys. If you don't recognize him. And look, missing people. I don't really remember a lot from here on out though, so... I don't know why the little loading doodad keeps popping up. Yeah. That's where we gotta get the cutters. Turn dead, turn, turn dead, yeah. It's not good. Damn. Thank God I found you. It's me, it's Ethan. Ethan? Are you alright? You shouldn't be here. What do you mean? You contacted me. No, no, I wouldn't. Did I? Did anyone see you? Did he see you? Who? Who else is here? What the hell's going on? Daddy's coming. We need to go. Daddy? We need to go now! Yeah, the camera angles in some of the cutscenes are a little weird in VR mode, but... Where are you taking me? Someplace safe. Are you gonna tell me what's going on? Baby, you've been gone for three years. Three years? Has it really been three years? What do they do to you? Not now. We need 
to get out of here first. I think it's this way. Oh god. <sighs> Nothing like adding some claustrophobia to the whole deal. Losing it. Mia. I gotta get out of here. Don't grab my arm. Just stay here, alright? I'm gonna have a look around. Alright. Good opportunity to take a take a break, I guess. I think Crystal's gone. <laughs> Resident Evil sounds like you're some evil landlord. Evil tenant, the kind of tenant who gets free water and leaves the faucet up for Maria. Yeah. Resident Evil. This this Resident Evil is pretty much nothing like any of the other ones. It's a completely separate thing, separate story. Did she take the dog or did she take them? I don't even know. Um, but yeah, the the story in this one, at least for the majority of the game, really doesn't have anything to do with the main Resident Evil series. It's kind of its own thing. You don't know any of the other you've never seen or played any Resident Evil game before? Are you trolling me right now? I feel like you're trolling me. <clears throat> I don't know why they chose the name Resident Evil. In Japan it was called uh, Biohazard. It's kind of weird, honestly. But, you know. My chat keeps disconnecting, so I don't know what's going on with that either. Welcome to the chat room, thanks. But yeah, I think Biohazard's a cooler name. We should have got Biohazard. Alright, well, let's go back in. It's only going to get worse from here. Old lady. E001. Yeah, that looks an awful lot like Mia. Oh god. Hey, there's the other door she knew was there. Now we're gonna start entering spooky territory. 
spooky town. So we got the map. It's pretty sweet. First aid, medicine, which you know is always a good sign. As is loud banging noises. Can I call for help? No. Okay, so before we open that door... Oh, it's bright in here. Oh, it's so bright in here. Oh. Oh, and I can't hear you. First game was in the mansion, Evil Mansion Resident, exactly. QTE is like every good RE, yeah. All the QTEs, it's, it's all it is, it's just one long QTE. I'm just making you guys think I'm in control. Alright, let's go down the spooky staircase. Get this over with. Thanks, I hate it. Damn, Mia, you scary. I don't know how to fight yet. Oh god. Wait. Wait. I'll punch you, Mia. Oh, feels bad, man. I can hear her. I can feel her clawing her way back inside of me. Get out! Leave me alone! I mean that. I deserve this. So that's that's a pretty good response there. Slowly back away. Which I'm pretty sure you have to go that way to trigger the next thing. Chilu. Oh, it's moving me. Oh shit. Yeah. 
Sorry. So you kind of had it coming. I hear the phone. I'm not deaf. Thank you, though. Isn't the phone in the hallway? Why is it telling me now? It's cool that they have that, though. The visual cue. Deviation have no come here. This. Man, what the fuck is going on? My name's Zoe. There should be a way out through the attic. Attic. Go there. Now. Uh, how do I get to the attic? Well, the attic's that way, but I don't think I can get through that door, can I? Aha, we got the axe. But of course Mia's gone, which is not good for us. Oh boy. <laughs> so yeah, this this is where the story starts to take a turn. Six thirty four. Well, she was actually missing for three years, I think. But, I mean, she did attack first, so... Self-defense. <laughs> Alright, well... Let's do this. Alright, so we've got an axe. That's right, I'm ready. Ready for whatever comes my way. It's not responding. Of course it's not. Why would it? I don't remember what I have to do here. I do have the bolt cutters, okay. That's what we need. Straight a block. Ah, there she is. The mess with me, Mia. Pretty sure she comes at me at some point. Hmm. 
again. I just don't remember when that is. Maybe it's when I come back this way. Yeah, there it is. It's not okay. I see something in your hand. Oh god. Not cool. Pull harder, man. Oh, that sucks. Oh. Feels bad, man. Oh god, look at my hand. Look at my hand. Yeah. Well, that sucks. Yeah, just just pour some first aid stuff on it. It'll be fine. Okay, fine. Oh yeah, it's on now. Not a lot of ammo though. Pretty sure I'm bleeding out at this point. Oh god. Back down, back down, back down. Oh god. Sorry. 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 Yeah, let me take that chainsaw. Of course not. Well, there goes our way out. Which we kind of saw that coming. Oh, yeah. Shit. That part. Well, some welcome that was.
dun, dun, dun. Come on. Don't you die on us now? You have work to do. Hey, my arm. Loading. Where, where am I? Right, before we get into this part, let me get this out for a second. <clears throat> Doesn't open from this side. Thanks for posting the charity link, PU. Oof. <laughs> I don't want to play this ever, dude. Imagine it in your fit like I don't know if any of you have much experience with with VR The PlayStation VR is is quite good. I, I've never used PC VR to know how it compares, but It's definitely a different experience it with it like completely Surrounding your vision, you know Because it really does Do you think do you want to um All right, guys, it's been about an hour. Usually when I do um, the VR, I try to take a break about every hour or so just so I can get up and get the headset off for a bit and stuff so it doesn't mess with me too bad. And it's about that time anyway, so I think I'm going to go ahead and take my break really quick. And aside from the face, man, Astron had a cyborg pounce on me. I don't want this, yeah. Oh, then you can imagine then. You can definitely imagine. <laughs> All right, guys, well, I'm gonna take a quick break, um, and then we'll we'll pick this back up here when I get back. So hang tight, and I'll be back here in just a few.
Alrighty. I'm back. Vlad, thank you for that host. Much appreciated. Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> how you doing, man? We're just playing some Resident Evil 7 and VR. It's my second ever playthrough of it. Tired today, I hear you. I hear that. I got a full week ahead of me at work, so. Uh, yes, in VR. It's my my second ever playthrough in VR. I played it at launch in VR. Huh? Oh. Yeah. That's what he does. Uh, but yeah, so we're about to get back into it. Um, let's see, go back to this. So yeah, we've got our PlayStation VR headset, which I need to get back on now. Um, see that. I'm gonna put my earbuds back in. All right, let's do this one thing at a time here. Let's just set that up there real quick. Uh, oh, you bots, you never learn. You never learn. Alright, let's see. Let's get these back in. Yeah, I can't hear any of my alerts either, so unfortunately, if anybody alerts in any kind of way, you'll have to wait until I, I come back from being in the headset to see it. Alright, so... Oh, it's tightened up on the home one. I gotta release it. Release! Okay, readjust here so everything's nice and clear. Looks pretty good. Uh -uh. Oh yeah, I got him. I was I hadn't gotten back into my headset yet, so I got him. <laughs> but yeah, here we go back into the VR nightmare. No, I'm good. All right. But my inventory is not empty.
Yeah, that's the the guys went missing from the tape we watched. Yay, handgun ammo, no handgun. Saw rope pet collar. 20 pet collars. Yeah, that, that can only be good news. Hey, don't you? Don't you look at me. Oh god. A boot. I'm not sure why that's useful. This shit's locked. Why wouldn't it be locked? Of course it's locked. <laughs> Damn it, I probably did. I always forget the music. Because I can't hear it. I can't hear anything, so... I'm lightening the mood for you guys. Uh, it doesn't work for me though. I'm trying to remember what I had to do. This this game's actually not that long. Um I just don't really remember much of it. Fuck, from the other side. Of course it is. Maybe you can break it with something. I don't have anything. Tape that can't be removed by hand. Yes. Tape. Indestructible. Garage. Alright, well that only leaves us one way to go. Which is this way. Does he come this way? I can't remember which way he goes. Is the hatch key? I think he's coming back this way.
Ah, shit. Alright, I need him to go back down the hallway. If he comes in here, I'm pretty much screwed. I have nowhere to run. <laughs> I'm gonna go back down the hallway. No, don't come this way. Let me go in. Phew. Still don't have a weapon or anything, which is not good. Main house map, save point, item box. Oh shit. I have this gun, which I'm probably not supposed to have already, huh? The Secrets of Defense, what's that? Oops. Can I access that again? Does it not do anything? Oh, reduces damage when guarding, effects are maximized when paired with the Essence of Defense. So I, but I can't use it or anything. I probably shouldn't actually use this for right now. Actually, I'm going to put it back away, because this is a really strong gun, if I recall correctly. I'll save that for later. Shiloh. Urban chem fluid.
Lockpick. Okay. <laughs> Did I scare you? Yes, you got me. There's guns in Resident Evil? No way. Yeah, this one definitely went way went more back towards like the survival horror than some of the previous entries, like five and six. Definitely more leaning on the horror aspect than the action. But yeah, that's that's the fun. You unlocked it. Well, you see, the thing is, there wasn't anything in here that was very helpful, so... Like, I didn't find a knife or anything. So I still can't really fight him. I mean, I could take that gun and fight him, but you're really not supposed to at this point, so... I really am a, a tad bit confused on what I'm supposed to be doing. Oh. Well, thanks for that. You did good, Ethan. Zoe, right? And what the fuck are you? Shut up and listen if you want to stay alive. You've got to get out of that house. There might be a way out through the main hall. All right. Oh, and that thing on your wrist is a codex. Don't lose it. It's important. <laughs> Damn crude job putting my hand back on. All right. Is he still lurking around here, or did he move on? Looks like he moved on for now. Yeah, I still don't have anything to cut this open with. Where to smash that thing with. There's no keyhole. Well, it does make things rather difficult. this house trying to fucking kill me <laughs> well all right let me tell you here you don't exactly seem like you're playing with a full deck yourself all right are you kidding me look like i said we have several missing person calls and i can't rule out that an outsider like yourself may not be involved right i'll tell you whatever you want all right now that's more like now meet me in the garage we'll talk to you hey wait you 
got to give me your gun. <laughs> Look, officer. Yeah. Right. Deputy. Now, you want to see my name in the obituaries? But you want to be a hero and save my life. Oh, ho. You got me there. A fucking pocket knife? What am I gonna do with a knife? That's not a knife. A deer. It's a good thing I got a knife. That indestructible tape. Alright, ch chat before I go back out here. <clears throat> yeah, it's, I mean, we're literally like in the very first section of the game, so we haven't even seen any monsters or anything yet. <clears throat> but yeah, I don't, I don't mean, it's more of like creepy than it is really scary. I think it only had like a really few scary parts. Like, really, really scary. Hey, we gotta get the fuck out of here. Now, first, you need to tell me what you're doing out here alone in the middle of the night. Me? What about you? Oh, it's my job. I want you to do your job and tell me. Answer my questions. You're not gonna believe me if I told you. Try. Hey, put that door back. Put that door back. Wait! Oh, it feels bad, man. Excuse me. Well, that wasn't what I wanted to do. I don't exactly have anywhere to run to. Oh god. Okay, I think he's... done for the time being. Oh god. Oh shit. Make sure you're dead. First aid, woo! <laughs> Spoiler alert. He's not dead. Do I have your attention, boy? You're about to see some more. Fuck! Yep. Uh, 
There's that thing. Am I still injured? Not much. <clears throat> the scout just left the building. Yeah, he only takes 9 million bullets to the head. Yeah, they stapled my hand back on. You can see, uh... Um, how do I bring up my thing again? Oh, while well, he moves his thing. See, yeah, the, see the staples? Ooh. So... That's how that happened. <laughs> yeah, I'm, like I said, it's much more scary for me than it is for you guys, I'm sure. Being that I'm literally in the game. Yes, I said literally. I'm there. Try to prove me wrong. Uh, well, I don't have any ammo, I don't think, so I have to make do with my noise. I don't think I ever found all those things, the little breakable things. Give me a second, hold on. Well, that was rude. They just hung up. Three headed dog, but the heads are missing. I wonder what that could mean. Yeah, I can't take it right now. That'd be too easy. I don't think this is the right thing. Pretty sure it's not. Living room. I don't even know if that's something I need yet, but I guess I'll find out. Let's go upstairs. Ah, there's the phone call. Don't hang up this time. Did my daddy give you a hard time? That's your father? He used to be. I'm sorry, but he's... He, he's, a, he's dead now. Oh. You just might be able to pull this off. What? Pull what off? There's something I need you to do, but I can't explain it right now. You may need some sort of keys to do it, but find a way out of the house. Okay. I'll be in touch.
Evelyn, May 2nd, 2014. Snake. This is Snake. Hey, what are you doing here? Yeah, yeah that's right. And I guess they're all looking for me. I actually picked that one. Shotgun shells, though. Inventory is getting very full very fast. To the processing area. Might as well hit those when I see them. There's shotgun in the other room, but I can't open the door. I would ask why do they have so many shotguns, but I mean, it's the south, so... I have inventory space for all this stuff, man. A huge ship that's washed up in the bayou. I'm sure it's nothing. <clears throat> Hold your right thing in with a headset. We'll say he's running a controller, running the space, and so on. Yeah. I mean. Like, there's games that use the, uh, the thingies, the move controllers. Like these things. And then it's more like, I guess realistic you would say, because you have two of them, and you're actually, like, moving your hands and doing things and stuff, and it feels more realistic that way. But, I mean, V, uh, hold on. But, yeah, VR is not for everybody. That's for sure. I enjoy it. I think it's a lot of fun, especially when I have um, I have a couple games that use this, which is the gun controller. It's got the trigger. Like this is really fun. I have I think two games that use it, and that's really immersive. But yeah, I mean that's the thing. It's not uh it's not for everyone. <laughs> yeah, it's really fun because it's got like the the joystick is on the back 
and then it's got the trigger and it's got other buttons that are all basically accessible right there so when you play the games you're standing and you move around and you actually turn and point the gun and do all this stuff it's actually really cool but the thing is like i said vr is not necessarily for everyone it's kind of like the whole thing with uh 3d movies like we love 3d movies but a lot of people didn't like 3d movies so that's probably also why i like vr so much because it's kind of the same same concept <laughs> But yeah, so. Ethan, please watch this. I am. At least I'm trying. There we go. Ethan, if you find this, I know I can't expect anything from you. Not after what happened. After what I did. But I just want you to know that wasn't me. I don't I don't know what happened. There's so much that you need to know. There you are! You gave us quite a scare, young lady. Yeah, and I'm playing as Mia. No, leave me alone. I am hiding. It's the best I can do. Don't deserve this except open my home and feed you. I don't understand you at all this. Kind of back myself into a corner here. Well, I don't have anywhere else to go. Stay right there, you little big dog. Oh god. I don't have anywhere to go. You failed. I guess when she turns around, I gotta sneak to the other side. I don't really remember this part. <laughs> well, that's the thing about Resident Evil games, man. People don't exactly stay dead.
I guess I was supposed to hide on this side. I guess I can't actually pick that up, I can just look at it. Well, that one's locked. So is that one. Shit. I don't know where I'm supposed to go. Very confused here. Oh, I gotta use this thing. I didn't realize. I thought this was something I had to do on uh, on Ethan. Oh, you can rotate this way too. What the hell? Ah. Like this, then opposite. How damn precise do you gotta be with this? There we go. So claustrophobic. She loves you. She wants us to be a family, goddammit. Ah, uh, shit. You. You. All you have to do is accept her fucking gift. Why can't she 
you see that? <sighs> Embrace us! Well, I gotta try. Looks like it's a part of something. Oh god. You died. Oh god. Where do you think you're going? Oh, kicked her in the face. So if she gets dragged off, who gets the tape and puts it in there? Huh? That's what I want to know. <clears throat> this is just a fake loading screen. I was wondering why it was taking so long before, but I forgot that that was a playable section, not just a, like a video to watch. What's up, Bonte? How you doing, man? Sorry, I can't see chat unless I take the headset up, so... How you doing, man? Good to see ya. Sure you guys are following Bonte if you're not already. It's a good question. <clears throat> So yeah, so if you're if you've been paying attention to the various tapes, things should be kind of starting to come together a little more. If not, then I guess you'll just have to find out later. Dude, I was just thinking like Subnautica in VR would be absolutely terrifying. I couldn't do that. I could do this way easier than I could do Subnautica in VR. That would be just awful. <clears throat> All right, I'm going back in. Let's keep it up. All right, so... Got a little bit of ammo. Got some herb, sweet. Toilet money. Oh man, that's pretty gross. I don't want to see the inside of the submarines. I wouldn't want to be in the open water. Yeah, no kidding. That would be terrifying. I love VR though. Like I said, I know it's not for everybody, but I really enjoy the VR experience. I think it's a lot of fun. All right, let's do this. You don't have enough space. Of course I don't.
The key to your car, you must have dropped it when you attacked in the attic. Why do I need that? Won't even let me discard. I don't even have anything I can discard right now. I guess I could use an herb. And then I can How do I move it? I gotta figure this out. Ah, move, there we go. Now we can pick it up. Okay. Hey, that's fine. Well, that's great and all, but I think I'd rather just not. Well, I can drop one of these dog heads really quick. I honestly always thought those shadow puzzles were kind of cool. Who builds this shit? <laughs> right? <laughs> How would that even work? Casting a shadow on the wall to open a door. That's what I want to know. <clears throat> oh, no worries, man. I appreciate you coming by and lurking. Hope you have uh, a pretty good time at work. I know time at work is usually never a good time, but nevertheless, I hope work goes well for you. I hope it goes by quick. <clears throat> uh, we'll get back into this. And I appreciate y'all hanging out. I hope you're having a good time. I know that this this game isn't for everyone and what the hell? Psycho stimulants. Sweet. Just what we always needed. I don't really have much inventory space, though. I don't know if I should pick that up or not. Use psycho stimulants to find items. Oh, okay. Seems legit. I mean, should I use it then? Is that what it's telling me? Yeah, there's a bunch of items in there. That's not helpful. Ah. 
Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough, that was actually pretty helpful. Yeah, that's not useful. I need a lockpick for this, don't I? I don't have one. Push those logos, just get rid of her. Yeah, purposely turning people. Looks like a kid drew it. Yep, here we go. This is where the fun begins. Good old mold monsters. can still see items. It's actually surprising that's lasting so long. I need a key or a lockpick. Dear Courtney. And the relief shaped like dog heads. I saw one of the heads in the dissection room underground. Okay. Q. Must be much to them, maybe if I'm gonna die, they squat fighting. You know, hold that shotgun. I saw the record, make them regret that they did. Yeah. It's, it's rough out there for sure. Alright. Put some of the stuff away for the time being. I can't use it. Well, so then I'll immediately need one of those things I just put away. That's the way it goes. <clears throat> this is where the fun begins. <laughs> I mean, unfortunately, like, when it's not... Playing a horror game when you've already played it before, it's not as exciting, obviously, as it was the first time around. Because even though I don't remember everything that happens, I remember enough to where, like... When I see something, I'm like, oh, okay, I think this is what's going to happen next. So then you don't have that that same reaction of like, oh, crap, there's a monster coming out of the wall. It's like, oh, yeah, there's that monster coming out of the wall, you know? <laughs> Actually, I might take a quick second to just take this off. Because <clears throat> it's kind of, you know, the, the, the same the same as it was before. Uh, it's actually been about another hour, so it's probably a good idea to take this thing off for a minute. I was trying to hold out, though, because I don't know how much longer I'm going to be streaming. That'll probably still be another half hour or so. Don't know how to use... <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, man. I don't know if they've said if uh, 
if it's going to be or not. It's going to be first person again. But I don't think they've actually said if it's going to be VR. Let me see. I don't remember them saying when they did the announcement. The very first result claims that, a, that there's a leak that it'll be in VR. But, uh... There's no, there hasn't been an official announcement, apparently. Yeah, all the articles I'm seeing are saying that there are rumors and leaks and things that there will be a VR mode. Yeah, I mean, it wouldn't surprise me at all if it was. In which case, I mean, I'd be psyched about that, obviously, because I enjoyed this one in VR a lot. I'm still having a great time. It's just, like I said, since I've played through it once already, I know most of the time what's going to happen once I get there. So I would definitely play through an in VR, play through uh, eight in VR. So I guess we'll just have to wait and see. But it wouldn't surprise me, especially since um, Sony already said that the PlayStation VR was going to work with the PlayStation 5. And apparently there's going to be a new PlayStation VR coming out in the future, but I don't see myself getting a new one. As long as this one will work with the 5 and all the games on the 5, uh, I'll just keep this one because it wasn't cheap. It was like 300 bucks for this thing. But it's fun. There's a lot of games that are really fun. I actually, um, I want to stream Vacation Simulator, which is a sequel to Job Simulator, which I had from almost the start and was super fun. It's a really, like, um, just funny game. I don't know if you, have you ever seen Job Simulator? It's actually quite hilarious. Yeah, so, like, I got Vacation, I actually got Vacation Simulator, um, to stream like a review code like a few weeks ago and I just haven't had a good time to do it because with that that's one of the ones where you have to stand up and use the move controllers so like I don't know how I would do that on stream unless I do it off camera to where you guys would only see you know the the game and not me because I don't have enough space here I'd have to be out in the other side of the room so if I do that, you guys will probably just, it'll probably just be like a no camera deal. Uh, but I appreciate you hanging out, Pew, even though this isn't really your thing. <laughs> uh, all right, well, let's, let's get back into it since I'm only probably going to be another half hour or so. I'll swear it like this, and I'll watch the screen, and I don't have to do... Like, you guys can think that I'm playing in VR, and I'll just watch the screen. <laughs> well, I appreciate that, ma'am. I'm probably going to have a really busy day at work tomorrow, so I don't know for sure if I'll be on tomorrow. And if I am on, I probably won't play this, just because I probably won't feel like playing a VR game after having a, a really hard day at work. Um, so we'll just have to kind of see how that goes. Not that I hate the game. Yeah, I mean, I know that you just said that you're not real big into the the VR thing. And with this, it's kind of like part of the whole experience is the fact that I'm playing in, in VR. So, <clears throat> so I get it. Try to get this thing back situated. <sighs> Stupid hair making it slide. Alright. 
So we saved. Also, I'm playing on easy, so you gotta remember that too. I played through on normal the first time. I only picked easy this time because I kind of wanted to get through the game quicker. <laughs> Figure that was probably locked. And I really, honestly, I feel like this game probably wouldn't even be that scary playing non- Ah, oh, non-VR. I say that as a monster literally tries to eat my head. Um, yeah, I feel like this wouldn't be as scary without the VR. Oh shit, I missed. They're gonna be waste all my bullets. Call the guy who keeps trying to just get out locked him up and left most incendiary so I can't get away again. Take him out, he's ready. Three A's and a handprint. I need gunpowder. There's the handprint. What does he mean three A's and a handprint? In the leftmost incinerator. I don't get it. Ah, that one's got three A's. Ah, bastard. Passion. Asshole. Still fine. <clears throat> I like watching VR games with their fun, but you can clearly see this is way more meant as a game. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, Vacation Simulator I think will be a lot of fun. We'll definitely stream that for sure. Hey, what's up, Ethan? I do, man. I can't actually hear any of the sounds. I don't have my PC headphones on. I have the headphones with the, uh, the earbuds, I mean, with the PlayStation VR on. We can definitely do a Vacation Simulator stream, though. I just need to charge my move controllers and adjust the camera and stuff. Maybe that's something we can do after we finish finish this. And if there's not enough interest in this game, I mean, I don't have to play it all the way through. It's not a big, it doesn't bother me either way because I've already done it. I was doing it as a as a reward for you guys, so 
can just ask you guys what you think. <laughs> yeah, definitely be down. I, I need to stream Vacation Simulator because that was the whole reason I got it. So It would be kind of crappy of me to take a review key and not use it to actually stream. So, <laughs> uh, All right. So I got the dissection room key. Yo. Workshop is locked. Get I know I hear something moving, I just don't know where it is. You unlocked it, that's always a good sign. The Scorpion Key. Now we can go see the Scorpion King. I need to go back and check this room before I go any further. Getting way ah, too ahead of myself. That's actually scared me. It's kind of awkward because you aim the gun with your head, not with your hands. So it's sometimes a little awkward to move. But first, yeah, we gotta play Yakuza. It is on the list. It was on the list for after this. Depending on if we play this all the way through, I mean, it might be sooner rather than later. You guys are eating up way too much of my ammo. Just so you know. Although, I mean, I'm sure I probably don't need to kill all of you, but... It's what I do. Treasure photo. I got a fireplace. Why did I put out my inventory? That's taking up an inventory space now. There was one other room I didn't check. I don't know if that's important. Oh, I might not be able to go this way anyway. No, it's the snake key. So I can't go this way anyway. Twelve bullets. Ooh, but chem fluid means more bullets. I'll wait until I get into that next room to use those. Well, actually, they last a pretty good amount of time. I didn't go in here, which means there's probably going to be... Mold monsters. Yep. Oh, 
poems. See something here really quick. Change it to green. Yeah, that's much better. I was having trouble seeing the white against some of these backgrounds. Damn it. Not that that's helping my aim, any. <clears throat> oh shit, I, I know there's someone here. I remember this room. There's two in here, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. Oh god, there's more than two. Reload, reload! Shit, run. This is bad. It's really bad. I still injured? I guess a little bit. Dang, dude. Strong chem fluid. What does that make? Oh, the enhanced handgun ammo. And strong first aid med. But what does fit this lock? Aha. Uh -huh. Hey, you know, it'd be great if I actually had a shotgun, because, uh... Well, you know, but I don't have a shotgun. I was gonna be a father. I will find him, and I will make him suffer. You just took my dog head. Alright, so... I have to figure this out, because I don't have any ammo. I don't think I really want to go into this next section with no ammo. They're giving me so many shotgun shells and I don't have the shotgun yet, which can't be a good sign. Oh yeah, I know where I'm at now. I definitely gotta come back. Make sure I'm not missing. I mean, I've got so, I've got so many shotgun shells. That's not even counting what I already put away. I 
I don't remember if these things respawn or not. I'm hoping not. Another herb. I did get the scorpion key. So maybe I can get the shotgun now. Put that away for right now. I don't know if any of this other stuff stuff I can use. I, mean, I guess I could make some enhanced handgun ammo. Or did I use all my gun pad? No, I have one gun powder left. At least give me something. I always forget it doesn't actually let you use it from that. Alright, um... i go ahead and save. Let's see if I can get the shotgun before we go and mess with that next area. Speaking of which... I should probably... Take the shotgun shells for that reason. Okay, that gets me in here. Which key was that that got me in the other room, though? It's a snake. It is a scorpion key. It's broken, but I can swap it. Try chasing all these shitheads around the yard. Living room, grandfather clock, the bookcase. Okay, so I've already gotten the one. The grandfather clock, I think I need to swap another thing in for that. And then he picked up the one in the dissection room. And gonna ammo, sweet. The regular ammo back in, so I don't waste the good ammo. Those are teeth, I'm not really sure why that's important, but okay. More shotgun shells. Fungus-like structures that seem to be related to mold. Fungal parasite. Alright, so now we can go swap the shotgun out. Of 
Really? I don't have enough space. Are you kidding me? Really don't want to waste that to make ammo on. It's not going to work. Because either way, I still don't have enough space, so I got to run back through here really quick. Luckily, the item room is right here. Alright, let's put this away, this away. That's all I need to put away for right now. No, move your arm, dude. Yeesh. All right, so. Nice. Now we're in good shape. At least better than we were. Oh, that leads back to the other side, never mind. Yeah, I took the clock piece out of this thing. So I think when I find another clock piece to replace it, um... I'll get the other dog head piece, but that probably comes after I get the one from what's-his-name. Alright, um... I guess I'll put this away for now, just because I don't have any more gunpowder. And that leaves me three spaces. I, mean, I feel like I'm making pretty good progress considering I don't remember a lot of this stuff. Gotta hide and solve puzzles. I mean, basically. <clears throat> it's very similar to the other Resident Evil games in that regard where it's a lot of uh, avoiding enemies where you can, solving puzzles to get to the next area, fighting a boss here or there, kind of rinse and repeat, you know? But I feel like we made really good progress with it tonight. I'm just trying to gauge, like, here, let me, I can... I'm, I'm gonna just stop this for the night here, so we'll go ahead and... Since I just saved... And heads it off. Uh, all right, hold on. Let me let me put this away really quick. <laughs> you seem to have a knack for that. Now, just with with VR, I really have to pace myself because, like, I already kind of feel a headache coming on. It's one of those things where, like, it can. Uh, I, I have to take it a little bit at a time. That's what she said. Ah, uh, that's that's Ghost of Tsushima dynamic background. Because Ghost of Tsushima is the best. Um, here, let's... 
go to our intermission screen here. <clears throat> With the RE7 text, yeah, that's like my my um my dynamic background. Uh, I did Pew. I played a little bit. I started doing um one of the uh, uh, other side quest chains, not like the you know like the actual side quest chains. I think it was uh maybe Lady Masako's side quest. It was one of those. Um I started working on those. I might have also started Kenji's side quest. Not much. I only had a chance to play for maybe like an hour or so. But like I said, I'm planning on I'm playing through the rest of it. I do want to play all of it and finish it. There's only about 65 side quests in the game. Ah, oh, that's a no, that's no big deal. Can do that in one night. Psh, no problem. Um, so I don't know. I mean, I like. Are you guys? Uh, are you guys enjoying watching the game? Like, it's one of those things where, like, I, I had it as a sub goal. But if people aren't really having fun with it, then we don't have to play through it all the way. It's spoopy. It is. Imagine being me in the headset I just I feel like for one some of the experience is lost because I've played through it already before so like you guys aren't getting my uh my like first I'm like I think there was only one time that I actually was genuinely surprised which was when the one fell from the ceiling I was like oh shit <laughs> um for the most part like I kind of remember so I know it's probably not the, the same as when I first streamed it. Unfortunately, I didn't save any of the VODs from when I first streamed it. I think I had a couple clips, maybe, that are now not even on Twitch anymore because I had to delete all my clips because, you know, the Great Purge. Which I did. I did download all those. The, um... The Twitch clips. I don't know if I'd be able to find it though out of all the clips that I downloaded. Twenty seventeen, twenty eighteen, yeah, they're not even listed by like date or anything. Here's one, I wonder what this one is. Oh, that was earlier in the game. Yeah, I mean, well, that's what I'm saying. Like, I want it to be, to be fun for you guys to watch the thing. Yeah, so that's too many clips to look through. I had like, I think maybe three clips when I first, when I first streamed it, and then uh, I didn't save the VOD, so. So I don't know, nobody besides Pew really said anything besides that it was spoopy, so <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Trying to gauge people's reactions. I already know Pew's answer anyways. He's like, don't play this. See, I already was gonna say, play Yakuza. I already know him. <laughs> like I said, tomorrow's up in the air anyway. If I stream at all, it probably wouldn't have even been Resident Evil anyways, just cause I don't think after 
busting my butt all day out in the heat that I'm gonna want to play a VR game today I didn't didn't uh, have too much to do this afternoon so I kind of had time to prepare myself you wouldn't be as in you wouldn't be mad <laughs> I don't know, like, I, the only reason why I care at all is because it was a sub-goal. Like, that's the only reason I care at all. If I was just playing it to play it, I probably wouldn't even be playing it. But since I, I did it as a sub-goal, I don't want to be like, oh, well, I know I promised you guys this, but we're not going to do it. <laughs> Maybe do a poll for it. Yeah, I could do a poll and put it in Discord. But, I mean... I feel like, you know, the handful of you that would really care. You did play, that's true, I did play it. I, I said play through though. So it's a little disingenuous, but. There's a lot of good clips in here, man. I got clips all the way back to 2017. So yeah, I might just do that, make a poll, put it in Discord, let you guys decide. If, uh, if people are not so inclined to keep watching it, then we'll just start playing Yakuza then. I said I knew that would be your your response. All right, my friends. Well, I think I'm gonna go ahead and call it a night. I, I feel like either way, I got a lot accomplished in that game. Shy is he's very passionate about everything. Let's face it, he's a very passionate man. Um, but yeah, I'll throw that up in there tomorrow like i said tomorrow um i'm not 100 percent on the stream yet i'll let you guys know and we'll kind of go from there hair stop it stop it hair but i appreciate you guys hanging out i hope uh, those of you who were here enjoyed yourselves i'm gonna see if anyone's on real quick to host um i don't know if i saw ulti get on or not no, it doesn't look like he is on, so no worries there. But yeah, thank you guys so much for being here. I hope you had fun. I had fun hanging out with you. Um, I'll let you know about tomorrow as soon as I know. I'll go ahead and post that poll on Discord here in a few when I get off, and uh, then you guys can vote. So hope you guys have a good rest of your night, good day tomorrow, and I will talk to you all later. Have a good one. Peace.